The Midway District is set to answer to charges in court. This comes as the family impacted by the crash is getting some good news on their puppy who ran away from the crash scene. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live downtown staying on top of those developments. Good morning. Good morning, Eric. That crash killed two people out of four driving in a minivan, left the family absolutely devastated. We're learning more about the man who was driving in a separate car that crashed it. Police tell us he was driving drunk. That man is now sitting in jail this morning, facing aggravated uh, vehicle manslaughter charges. Now, this all happened on Saturday night, Sports Arena Boulevard and Rosecrans Street. Police say 33-year-old Edgar Suarez Espinoza was speeding and driving drunk when he lost control of his Toyota pickup truck, hit the center median and flew airborne into a Toyota Sienna van carrying four family members. 23-year-old Ahmed Alwari and 81-year-old Swad Al-Samari were in the back seat and died at the scene. The driver of that minivan survived but lost his older brother and grandmother. Of course, an extremely difficult time for this family. Now, a six-month-old German shepherd named Cookie was in that minivan during the crash and fled the scene. We're now just learning that puppy was reunited with the Al Cajon family after he was found hiding underneath a car in the San Diego airport parking lot. The dog's owner, Abula Alari, was overcome with emotion when seeing the dog for the first time since the night of that fatal crash. Now, as for the driver that caused the crash, Edgar Suarez Espinosa is facing two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter, felony DUI charges, and driving without a license. Suarez is being held without bail. He will be arraigned this afternoon in the Hall of Justice. So, of course, we'll continue to update you on this developing story. I'm